ZK Sync. Today I'm going to show you how you can bridge your Ethereum ETH to ZK Sync. Now, this is a layer 2 based on ZK Rollup technology, and this tutorial is just going to stick to that. So let's dive straight in. As always, not financial advice, these tutorials are strictly for educational purposes only. Okay, so here you go, I've started it off on the ecosystem page where you can see currently what wallets and dApps are currently on ZK Sync. So the first thing you want to do is you need to add the network to your MetaMask. So over here in the docs, I'll have this in the links uh, in the notes and you can see that you need to add this information to your network. So go head on over to your MetaMask click on your Ethereum mainnet and then click add network which will then load up a page I'll make this nice and big and then add a network manually and then uh, copy the respective categories into it okay so once you've put everything in hit save and straight away now your wallet is you can switch to that mainnet so at the moment though let's head back to ethereum and once you've added the network the next thing you want to do is head on over you can scroll down and you won't need to bridge it across to your uh, zk sync to the layer two so uh, if you click on bridge it will load up this site and all you need to do here is connect using metamask and straight away it will prompt you connect with new account hit next and connect and there you go now so you can see over here that uh what you're connected to this is your mainnet this is your zk sync which has nothing obviously and it's showing your mainnet balance you have a few options here this is how much it was going to cost you in fees uh, the max amount of fees so just check your, your main net gas prices at the moment it's around 17 guay so should be okay you also have the ability to send from one of your main net addresses to another zk sync address and if you want to use that feature uh, all, all this means is currently when i'm transferring from the connected wallet it's going to the same wallet address for zk sync or you could just use another wallet address and send it there but in this tutorial, I'm just going to send it to the same wallet address and put 0.04, just transfer a little bit because it should be fairly cheap to use ZK Sync or, uh, and in terms of fees. This is uh, currently the main net fee you're paying on ETH. Okay, and once you've got all that done, all you need to do is click deposit. So I'll hit deposit and I will confirm. You can see gas, yep, I'll hit confirm. That's it, I'm done. Cool. So uh, this is cool. Uh, now, once you've done done it, uh, if you didn't add it, if you didn't add your MetaMask to to MetaMask, you can actually just click here, and it will default add it for you, which I have already done. So I can just switch the network. What I suggest is, even after it shows you this uh, deposit is successful, when you go to check your wallet, it probably won't be there. But definitely after close to five minutes when you check your wallet the the amount you've deposited will arrive so you can see there that i've deposited it and it's there so it's that simple all you need to do is uh, follow the process it literally prompts you through it and you now have eth on uh, zk sync and now you can go to the ecosystem and find a dapp that you currently are interested in using on that layer too and and check it out now the other aspect of this very quickly is if you want to withdraw so if you want to bring your eth back you can use the same bridge to transfer it back just note that uh, you will you notice straight away the fee is much cheaper but there is a 24 hour delay so unlike the optimistic roll-up where you use arbitrum and stuff like that if you went to use the arbitrum bridge it takes seven days to come back with this within 24 hours there's a just a 24 hour delay and you'll get your eth on mainnet so i hope this has helped and as always like share subscribe if there's any content you want me to make uh, do let me know in the comments and i'll uh, try to to get my head across it and get that content out there specifically if you're looking for anything in the zk sync era mainnet i am genuinely interested to to get some suggestions there on on protocols to research and make tutorials on thanks everyone take care